again students of grade 11. In the previous lesson, we started on paper 1 of the 2019 O-Level English Language paper. We discussed questions from test 1 to test 4. In this lesson, we will discuss test 4 to test 8. You can revisit the topics that you find difficult to comprehend by looking at some of our previous lessons. Every test given in paper 1 amounts to 5 marks, so make sure that you attempt all the questions given using the most appropriate answer. Let's look at test 5. You are asked to read the dialogue between Geet and his uncle. Write the necessary information in the space given below the text. The first one is done for you. Now, if you want to know more about dialogues, you can refer to some of our previous lessons that explain what dialogues are and how to write one. The dialogue given here is in the form of a small comprehension. You are requested to write down the answers by lifting information from the text. You can look at the lesson on skimming and scanning if you want to know how you can develop this skill. Be careful about spellings as, unlike the previous tests, you are requested to write down words and phrases and not letters. Let's now read the dialogue together. Geet, how was the trip, Uncle? Uncle, it was great. Our office environment club organized it. Geet, where did you go this time? Uncle, this year, we selected a small island in Puttalam. Have you ever been to an island? Geet, never, but I would love to. Uncle, don't worry. I'll take you there during the next vacation. Geet, by the way, how did you go there? Uncle, we hired a van and it took five hours for us to reach a town close to the island. We spent the night in the circuit bungalow and wanted to see the island in the morning on a boat. Geet, wow, a boat ride? Uncle, yes, one hour ride in the calm sea. The village we visited in the island was very small. Graman Illari said it had 105 people. Fishing is what they do for a living. Also, I saw some women making beautiful ornaments with seashells. They make money by selling them to tourists. Geet, isn't there a school for children there? Uncle, well, there is a very small school with a few teachers. That is all. Let's now look at the questions and write down the answers. You will be required to scan the text for relevant answers. Question number one. The trip was organized by the Environment Club. Number two, the place visited, a small island in Puttalam. Three, mode of traveling from Circuit Bangalore to the island, boat. Question number four, main livelihood of people, fishing. Question five, population of the village, 105 people. Number six, the ornaments were sold to tourists. That was fairly easy, wasn't it? Now let's look at test six. You are the secretary of the English Literary Association of your school. You have organized a singing competition in English. Write a notice inviting all the students of grade nine to watch the event. Use about 40 to 50 words. Include date, time, and place of the competition. Let's do this together. I have two examples for you. Let's look at the first one. Notice, the English Literary Association of Hillside College has organized a singing competition in English on the 23rd of March, 2021. The event will take place at the school hall at 2 p.m. We warmly invite all students of grade nine to watch this event. 
Secretary, English Literary Association. If you want to do it a little differently, we can do it like this one. Notice, calling all Grade 9 students. The English Literary Association of Hillside College invites you to watch Sound of Music, a singing competition in English. Date, 23rd March, 2021, venue, the school hall. Secretary, English Literary Association. As you can see, I have used a little more creativity and created a name for the competition too. Writing notices is very easy and should be short but full of facts. If you want to know more about notices, do watch Lesson 36 which is on notices. Test 7 is a short comprehension passage. There are MCQs that follow so when we do read it, and thereafter, when we read the questions, it is important for us to scan the text for the correct answer. Let's read the short comprehension passage together. Read the passage and answer the questions. It was a beautiful warm Saturday in October and Sandhani's family had decided to have a picnic. Sandhani was helping her mother to get the picnic table ready for their lunch when the two of her married sisters arrived. Happy birthday, mother, they said, as they handed over their brightly colored birthday presents. Sandhani had totally forgotten that it was her mother's 54th birthday. She quickly decided to find a present that would show her mother how much she loved her. She ran upstairs to her bedroom and pulled her piggy bank down from its shelf and opened it. No coins fell out, but as she put her fingers inside, she felt a single piece of paper. It was a hundred rupee note. She picked it and ran to the gift store next to the shopping center. As she looked at the pretty dishes and other household items, she realized that a hundred rupees wouldn't be enough to buy what she wanted. Suddenly, she saw a pretty red flower. It was just the price, 99 rupees. She took the flower to the cashier and gave the hundred rupee note. Is that all the money you have? asked the cashier. Yes, she said, just enough to buy this present for my mother. I'm sorry, dear, this gift costs more than what you have. With sales tax, it costs 108 rupees. Sandhani felt tears gathering in her eyes. She didn't understand sales tax, but all she understood was that she wouldn't be able to give that beautiful present to her mother. Now that we have read the passage, Let's read the questions and figure out which is the correct answer. Whose birthday falls in October? A. Sandhani's B. Sandhani's mother's C. Sandhani's younger sister's The correct answer is B. Sandhani's mother's Question number 2. What was Sandhani doing when her sister arrived? A. Preparing the picnic table B having lunch. C. Getting ready for the birthday. The correct answer is A. Preparing the picnic table. Question number three. How much money did the piggy bank have? A. Less than 100 rupees. B. More than 100 rupees. C. Exactly 100 rupees. The correct answer is C. Exactly 100 rupees. Question number four. The gift that Sandhani selected was A. A red flower B. A pretty dish C. A household item The correct answer is A. A red flower Question number 5. The word realized in line 10 means A. Guessed B. Understood C. Doubted The correct answer is B. Understood Now let's look at test 8. You are asked to write a paragraph on one of the following topics. Use about 50 to 60 words. A. The place where I live. B. 
how I spend my free time. You have to choose one of the two, but I thought I would write short paragraphs on both. You may want to use the peel format or better watch lesson nine to get a better idea on how you could write a paragraph. Remember, this question too carries five marks. Let's first write out a paragraph on the place where I live. I live in Balapitiya, close to the Gaul Road. I live in a single story house with my two sisters and parents. We have a small garden and I enjoy spending all my free time sitting outside. The beach and the sea are very close to our house. My parents take us to the beach at least once a week. The sea breeze is so relaxing. That was fairly easy, wasn't it? Let's now look at B, how I spend my free time. This too is written in a paragraph. How I spend my free time. During my free time, I like to read. I love to read because it takes me to different places and cultures. I love reading fiction, especially. After school and after doing my homework, I read. I always enjoy cooking during my free time. My entire family enjoys tasting my food. That was easy, wasn't it? The key to this question is to elaborate on the key sentence mentioned at the very onset. I hope you found this lesson useful. We have now completed the discussion of the 2019 English language paper one. Please do watch our other sessions on paper two. Do subscribe to our channel and watch more of our videos on your O-level English language syllabus. Have a great day.